Equity multiple. One of my grad students asked me about this metric, and shortly after that, a number of questions came in online asking about the same subject. So I figured it's time to add this to my online video course, An Introduction to Real Estate Investment Analysis. What follows is a brief excerpt from that new lesson, and I hope you find it interesting. If you'd like to learn more about the course, please check it out at learn.realdata.com. Com. Timing is completely absent from our calculation of equity multiple. $2.14 million in cash received over 10 years results in exactly the same equity multiple as $2.14 million received all in one year. Now, would we be equally happy with either scenario? Not really, not if we believe in the time value of money. Because waiting for that future return means it's worth less to us than its face value in current dollars. Let's take this further and look at some more examples. Consider another scenario now, a property similar to the first, one where we have the same total amount of cash going in and coming out as we did before, and even the same 10-year holding period, but with a key difference that helps illustrate the issue of time value of money. In our original scenario, our cash flows from operating the property started off at a relatively modest $20,000 in the first year, and then increased regularly by $10,000 during each of the first nine years. What if we turn that timing on its head? What if this property starts off with a strong cash flow of $100,000, but then we see it decline each year? In both scenarios, we'll expect to keep the same final year payday of $1.6 million, and we'll keep the same total of cash to be distributed over the 10 years that same $2.14 million. What's different, and the only difference, is that we get the larger operating cash flows earlier rather than later. If you recall our discussion in a previous lesson, the discussion of the time value of money, sooner is better than later. So we should expect that the rate of return on our invested capital should be greater in this scenario, even if the amount of our return is the same. And that's exactly what we do see here. The example where we get the larger cash flows sooner yields an IRR of just about 10%, as opposed to 9%, where the larger cash flows occur later. So the IRR identified the second investment scenario as preferable as a better return on cash invested, while the equity multiple saw them as equal, a 2.14 multiple for each. Yeah.